Hey guys, so a lot of you guys have been requesting for a 3D animation um, tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to do that bouncing up text that I do in my intros so you guys can do it too and a rotation text. So this is what you're going to this is what we're going to do as you're seeing right now and let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is click mo text and type in anything you want. So I'm just going to type in soul gfx and uh, just choose any type of font. Uh, let me just whatever uh Cartoon is kooky, that's good. Uh, put your line to middle, and you can customize it any way you want. Adapt, but this is not like a tutorial on how to make text, so we're not going to focus on that. Alright, so, the most important part, you want to click Motex. Don't rem uh, for don't forget about that, and go on MoGraph, Effector, then Plane. So, your text should be like rising up like this, good. If it's not, then just redo it. Uh, you probably didn't click the Motex, and that's the reason why. So click on plane, uh, go to fall off, and just say shape. You're going to go ahead and put linear. Uh, then you want to go to parameter and click scale. Then go to uniform scale and type in negative one. I recommend uh, to beginners to go ahead and pause the video because this is a lot of steps. All right, so you see it's disappeared. That's a good thing. All you want to do is click on your plane and rotate it like that. So um, it's going to slowly come up and... Whoa, whoops, let me just do that. The blue one is the right one. You always want to move the blue one in order to do it. And of course, if you don't want it to come that way, all you have to do is rotate the other way this way and move the blue thing. Whoa, whoa. Okay, don't click these uh, kind of square things if you see them. Uh, so it should be looking like that. And yeah, so there you go. So you have this, and what you want to do now is move it back so you can't see it at all. Like, don't make sure you can't see it. You're gonna click this little button right here. It's kind of like um, like a rotate thing, whatever you want to call it. So what you're gonna do is click that, and you should have like this red bar. Good. Now you're gonna click keyframe, and move it how much you want. I'll keep mine at 40. Uh, just move it up there. So now keyframes, and it will move as it goes. So it looks something like this, which is perfect. You can always make it faster or longer. Um, it all depends on your choice. Just just keep in mind, guys, that 30 keyframes is one second. So keep that in mind. So uh, let's make ours about 40 seconds. And something like that. All right. So now that's good. And after you did this step, you we're kind of missing the bounce thing, right? So what we're going to have to do is click on the Motex once again. MoGraph, Effector, then click on Delay. So um, just leave it. Um, now all you gotta do is basically click delay, effector, then spring. So now if we do it, all right, I did something wrong. Oh wait, no. Okay. Um. Yeah, I forgot. To, <laughs> I accidentally didn't click. Uh. So we're gonna click. Um. Let's see. Delay. Effector spring and there we go so now it looks like that yeah I forgot to click the motex make sure to click it and stuff like that so uh, let's say you do it you put the plane but you don't do the keyframe and you just put delay it won't work I found that out what you you have to do this step first and do the keyframe then you put the delay so now we got that and it bounces like that which is really nice and looks really cool and I like that. All right, so now all we have to do is, if you want to customize it, add some colors, and uh, yada yada yada. I'll just put that right there. All right, so so this is pretty good. And now what we have to do to make it rotate is basically add another keyframe on your Motex. So this is where. Oh, let me quickly delete this. So if we look at our plane, it will basically come at 40. So what you want to do is go to your Motex, and let's say something like the base drop drops at like 45. So we're just going to put a keyframe right there and put one right here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where you put it. And all you got to do is rotate it like this. And I'll do my style. We'll just bring it about this much. So now if we play it, it'll spin. And if it spins too fast, just remember you can always move the keyframe and some do something like that. And let's just quickly bring this up over here so we can bring the keyframe. All right, so once it rotates and it kind of stops there, my style is I just wait until later on. 
and I make it slowly come back towards you and it basically, you know, uh, screen pumps. So there we go. All we have to do is that and it rotates and it slowly comes back like this. Of course, it doesn't really necessarily come slowly for me. So if I just, you know, move it right over here, let's just come here and there we go. It's come very slowly very nice for an intro and yeah so that's a tutorial for you guys so that's how you do the text bounce up type of thing animation something like this and then a text rotate uh, my style I like making it come back slowly but um, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave a like a comment uh, and to subscribe if you haven't done so already for more tutorials and also make sure to comment down below if you want any other tutorials or else but Hopefully you enjoyed, this is this tutorial, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.